Same thing. Dragon is on top of the rocket. The rocket will take off. At about 84 seconds into launch, we'll trigger the launch escape system. Um, and, and that then Dragon will carry the astronauts safely away, um, carry the capsule tomorrow safely away from the Falcon. In the event that there were astronauts on board, that's the whole goal. Um, and that's the main objective of this test, is to show that we can carry the astronauts safely away um, from the rocket in case anything's going wrong. Um, I mentioned that we're, we're triggering this test at about 84 seconds, um, and, and that's where we you know, kind of hit the sweet spot of conditions that we think is the right place to test in. The reality is that there are many, many triggers and many different points in time um, where the launch escape system could initiate um, in order to keep the, the crew safe at any point um, in the whole trajectory. Um, as we recall, there was a, um, just uh, not long ago last year, there was a, an event on a Soyuz um, where they needed to use their launch, uh, or their, their escape system, um, in ascent on the way to orbit. Um, and so it really drives home the point of, of why we need to be able to have these systems. Uh, um, as I mentioned, as we talked about already, the, uh, the launch window opens up tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, and it's about a four hour launch window. About two minutes before we start propellant loading on Falcon, uh, we arm the launch escape system. And this is a key point, right? So the crew is in there, they're safe and sound. We, we arm the launch escape system, um, and then we start propellant loading on Falcon. Propellant loading takes about 30 minutes, and then we launch. And the idea here is that we're minimizing exposure to crew, both the astronauts and also the ground crew and everybody who's supporting them um, to, uh, to, to the actual process of having propellants loaded on the rocket and during that propellant loading time. We're gonna practice that again tomorrow. Um, overall, for uh, the test timeline, um, you know, we're, again, test like you fly, everything else will go just about as we would expect to um, on launch day with crew. Um, we'll go ahead and go to the next slide and see um, an animation, I think is what's next. <laughs> Great. So this is uh, an animation of what we expect it to look like tomorrow. Um, so we'll take off um, and uh, launch the rocket about 84 seconds in. Um, at about 19 kilometers out and about 20 kilometers high, I'm sorry, about four kilometers out and about 19 kilometers high, um, we'll initiate the launch uh, escape system. Dragon will leave the Falcon very quickly. Um, it will then um, hit an apogee of about 20 kilometers, about 40 kilometers high. Um, it'll jettison the trunk. It'll reorient itself with the Draco engines, and then it'll continue its trajectory down. And about five minutes after launch, the parachutes will deploy, and about 10 minutes after launch, we expect splashdown. Splashdown will occur probably around 30, 35 kilometers off of shore, depends a little bit on winds.